gentlemen, we are just approaching Landry Dod 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 Wales in mid Wales and we're back on the Heart of Wales line trail. Myself and Dave got a couple of days on the on the hill, wild camp in between. Don't quite know where we're camping yet. That's the whole fun of it, is we're just gonna wing it and uh, we're all packed. It's been a long time since we've done anything like this. Well certainly for me. Um, so we'll uh, get cracking and we'll see you on the trail. Massive shout out to Justin at the Metropole Hotel in Landold. Thank you very much sir, for letting us uh, park for the weekend. The Heart of Wales line. Ah, oh, there we are. There's the gate. Yeah, okay. Good eyesight. It's a nice level bit of terrain. Just farm fields and paddocks, little stiles. Nothing too uphill yet, so we're just breaking us in gently. A bit hazy today, but uh, that's stunning. We've just uh, arrived at the outskirts of Newbridge on Wye. Can you see in front of us? Uh, we're going to have a little look for see what's open. The weather's been kind to us. Dave still keeps trying to scare me, telling me it's going to be like minus two tonight and snow, and weather warnings, but I'm taking no bloody notice. He's just trying to put me off. Called in at this lovely little shop. But bear that in mind. Coming through Newbridge, you can get a few. Uh, snacks and bits and then we're gonna head on over the river Wye over to Bilth. Just left the village of uh, Newbridge on Wye behind us uh, and we're just crossing the river Wye. Look at that. This bit's a bit of fun. Uphill out of Newbridge on a busy main road and uh, oh, that's warmed the old leg muscles up. Okay, six mile to Bilth. So we're going on two mile an hour. So three hours plus a bit of a stop. Little hill there. Later in the day, they're getting harder. Right, we've, uh, we're on the Y Valley Walk now. So we're borrowing the Y Valley Water. There's the Y, just glistening down in there. So we spend a little while now, probably about five kilometres, just literally snaking our way next to the shore of the Y. Mate, there's a bench up here. Well, I'm having that. Yeah. Nothing like a nice peaceful sit by the river at the day. Sorry mate. <laughs> it's a bit loud, isn't it? See what they call it a rocket. You reckon mate, I reckon those are the hills, aren't they? So here we are, the Heart of Wales Line Railway. When you check the route, um, obviously we're on on this side, the west side of the of the river, and the station's that side. So very difficult to use the train again, a bit like Penny Bont, you can't really easily use the train to break the journey at Bilth Wells, uh, which is why we're carrying on through to do the next section uh, as a two-dayer. Uh, so what you'd have to do is go all the way down here into Bilth Town Centre, cross the river and then come all the way back up the other side, uh, which would just add about three, three four miles to your, to your journey as you use a taxi or something. So that's, uh, that's our observation. So we'll be going into Bilth on through 
uh, and then up into the hills and we're going to wild camp up there tonight ready to do the Senny Bridge section tomorrow which is the uh, SAS firing range training ground and they're not operating tomorrow so we're safe Ooh, little hill these little ones get you oh flagging a bit now yeah, time know. is quarter past three uh, but we've done bilf just nipped into town and bought some water and a sausage roll no poor boys didn't have any and uh, now we're on the last stretch out of town uh, and I think a lot of it's back uphill we just stopped at this little ford just filled up for as much water as we dare carry uh, and now we're heading up here for uh, camp for the night somewhere we're hoping we can camp on that hill that's got a little trick point but obviously never been up there we're banking on it being all right oh, struggling now really struggling nearly at the top just got to get up there but i'm just looking back at our view those clouds look uh, full of stuff don't they so i think that could be the end of our lucky weather break <sighs> coming up there was absolute killer for me doing that again. Well, the little storm has gone. Thank God that was putting a bit of a downer on the end of the day. Um, we're up on Molfra, um, which is where we would sort of plan to. And we're on the trig point, camera's on the trig, and uh, we're set up. Now we both got these 10 cent uh, camperlist.com so James thank you very much uh, both thought we'd try them out because they are small light uh, and the whole point of the Heart of Wales line trail is we sort of don't really want heavy kit but um, there's it's a compromise so I will just give you a little tour um, the Lanshan 1 um, has been around a little while this is the Lanshan 1 Pro so single skin uh, I have changed the guy lines, so these are a little bit longer, a little bit thicker. Uh, I've seam sealed it. Um, I put talcum powder on where it uh, was a bit tacky. That's what they suggested to do. So it looks a bit mit <laughs> shit, um, but uh, that'll that'll wash off when it rains again. Um, yeah, um, realistically for me, I think it's going to be too small. Uh, a compromise might be a bit too far. Um, when I was trying to set up, uh, it was raining. So I got the door shut and I'm sort of bent over double trying to sort out the quilt and the mat and there's only a half door. So I can't get to the other side. So I'm sort of trying to lean around. I find it really frustrating. But if you just want to get your head down for the night and, and get cracking in the morning, um, it's 600 and something grams. It, it really is oddly it's less than a tarp i would imagine so yeah um good product camperlists have got um they're not aliexpress they are is his own business and uh they sort out all of the import duties and it's a lot quicker uh, they send it by dhl or fedex so you're not waiting around for weeks for the post from china um so if you want a Lanshan and other uh, lightweight tents that they do, the whole range on there, then uh, well worth a look. Right, uh, I'll try and show you this. It's a bit awkward filming it with me little GoPro, but um, I've bought a dehydrator. So I've made up a load of chili con carne and spag bowls. Uh, made a big batch of it, put it all in the dehydrator, divided it into little meal portions. And that's spaghetti bolognese it will be and uh, it needs 400 millilitres of water to turn it back into a decent meal so what you do is you soak it for a little bit by the way this is all thanks to uh, Patrick Dickinson who is the godfather of this camping lark and he and um, I watched his video to learn how to do it so if you want to do it don't watch me watch his videos you need a decent sized pot because uh, 
you obviously you haven't got the packet and the only other downside is you've got to wash up so you will need a bit of water for that but I have to say um, I like a spaghetti bolognese and I add a few extras when I'm at home uh, and I'm bloody looking forward to that it just cold soaking I'll give it 10 minutes then I'll bring it up to the boil uh, and then I'll simmer it for a couple more minutes and then I'll put it in this insulated pot cosy and leave it for about another 10 minutes and, and then it'll be ready. It's boiling now, so I'm turning it down to a nice simmer. And I'm just going to cook that for a couple of minutes uh, and then that'll do then, just to get it really going. So, take that out of there, put the lid on, pop it into there. You can't, probably can't see that, so put that one into there. These are just homemade things with radiator blankets. So shout out John, who's given me some material to do another, and then a little lid. And that's it. I'm just going to leave that to fester for about at least 10 minutes, probably longer. I actually tested one out and forgot, a, got sidetracked, shall we say, and uh, left it for an hour, just over an hour, and I came back and it was still piping up weird but it works so uh, that'll be good in there what i might do is actually put that in my under my quilt for a bit so any heat that does escape to warm my bed moment of truth it's been in there about 15 minutes a bit longer perhaps and there it is one rehydrated Spag bowls piping hot, spaghetti is soft, the meat is edible, bloody hot. Soup it up a little bit, so I brought a baby bell, a bit of mayo, a sweet chilli sauce, just to make it like I have it at home. 